What's going on, y'all? It is lame to stay the same. The reason why I want to talk about this today is because for so long, I've struggled with wanting to stay the same. And it caused me to be stagnant for so long. We tend to glorify those who have always been the same. We say stuff like, oh, this person never switched up on me. Or you have always been the same person. And that's not okay. I mean, I get it. You don't want people to switch up on you to the point where they feel like they're better than you. No one does. But at the same time, we're human beings and we're supposed to grow and progress in life. You do not want to be the exact same person you were 10 or even five years ago. I'm going to give you a quick story about myself. So we all have a past, right? I have certain things in my past that I am not proud of. One of the things caused me to be mandated into a program. Okay, yeah. So this was not no average program. It was ran by two nuns. It was all women. You cannot wear any jewelry. You cannot have any money. Certain family members you could not speak with. And the length of the program solely depended on your progress. Some people will complete it in four to five months. Some a little bit longer. It took me two years to complete. But the reason why it took me so long to complete the program is because I refused to work on myself. I felt like everybody there was just trying to change who I was as a person. I was like, I am not about to be fake or tell everybody my business. I just want to complete the program so that I wouldn't have to do prison time. Eventually, I had to take a deep look at myself, who I was, what I was doing there, and what caused me to get there. So I was stripped away from everything, the jewelry, the money, my old lifestyle, my friends, alcohol, smoking. And when I started to open up and really work on myself, I realized that I was similar to who I was as a child. I'm not gonna lie y'all, at first I did not like it. I was passive, very shy, antisocial, unconfident. But then that's when I realized that the people around me were not trying to change who I was as a person. That old negative lifestyle that I was living was changing me into someone else that I wasn't. Now, being shy can be cute for a little Tyler, but for a grown ass woman, no, that's not cute. So I started to open up. I tried to communicate with people. I spoke to people who I normally wouldn't walk up to. And I just started working on myself. Now, I worked on many different things. And as of today, I am still working on a certain issue as far as communicating with others and stuff like that. It's a long process, but I am getting better at it. Let me be clear, though. I do not regret my past. And the reason why is because it did give me a sense of purpose at the time, which it is crazy now that I think about it. But it also helped shape me into who I am today. The point that I am trying to make is that we are human beings. We're meant to grow. We're meant to progress in life. Just picture yourself being around your friends and then you move away for 10 or even five years. You work on yourself. You come back to visit. Your friends are doing the same stuff. They are on the same corner, even wearing the same clothes, trying to put in and pitch in on the bottle. Like that is not cool. The beautiful thing about life, y'all, is that you can always progress. You can always become better. If there's a specific area where you feel like you can enhance, enhance it. Why not work on yourself and improve yourself? If you feel like you have poor communication skills, put yourself out there. Start talking to people. If you have anger issues, really sit there and think, what's causing you to feel angry? What's really going on? Think of the real feelings that you have underneath that anger. Hell, if you don't like the way you walk, then change your walk. If you don't like the way you speak, you can change that too. For instance, I realize that some people cannot understand what I'm saying some of the time. The reason why is because sometimes I talk like this. But I did do my own research and I realized that you're really supposed to talk using your facial features. So what I'm going to be doing from now on is trying to use my features more often so that I sound more clear and people can understand me. Many people believe that you're supposed to explore and go find your true self. What I believe is, is that if you really want to find your true self, you have to take a look at your childhood. Before all of the trauma, before all of the past experiences that caused you to think, feel, and behave a certain way. And it's not all about just finding who you originally were. 
It's about working on yourself, becoming better. It's about removing those negative thoughts, feelings, and behaviors and replacing them with new ones. It's about becoming your best self. Please do not sell yourself short. Life and everything around you is constantly changing. It's so should you. On that note, yeah, take care, all right? Bye.